everybody, this is Praxis, and I thought today was going to be a really easy day, but I just found out I've got kind of a major problem, and it's with these cabinets, and I'll tell you what that is in a moment, but first, I want to direct your attention back over here to something that's going well, which is the stone wall that's behind the wood stove. I'm just about halfway up it, and you can see that I've got all this different bracing material uh, there to kind of hold everything in place. I've got everything from little chisels holding things up to bricks and cinder blocks and boards and sticks and things, just holding everything up against the wall while it sets in place and that's uh, going really well. I'm pleased with that. This, uh, not so much. These are the, the kitchen cabinets that just um, got pulled out of these boxes here and uh, the problem I've got is with this this angle right here. This uh, cabinet here is for the sink. It's sort of centered on the window. Also, the gray water drain goes right out through the wall over here. Um, and the sketches of this unit here uh, showed that on the side, there was maybe about like two inches of extra space on the side. So, that, you know, these little front face panels didn't go all the way out and these cabinet doors didn't go all the way out. And uh, that's not the way that they're actually built. And I'm really kicking myself for, I don't know, I guess not questioning the sketch. The, the sketch that I was going off of wasn't, it didn't have dimensions on it. It just kind of like showed things generally. But there was a very clear uh, gap on the side here that looked like it was about like two or three inches on either side. And my plan was that these guys would slide right up to that and that uh, well, and, and these were supposed to have gaps on the side as well, um, and that you'd uh, have a little bit of an overlap, and then everything would would marry together perfectly. And um, that's not the way that these things are actually built. And I'm just kicking myself because I, I I inferred information from the sketch that uh, was not accurate. Now I, it wasn't like again the sketch didn't have dimensions on it. You know it wasn't explicit that there was a gap there, but I just. Visually saw it, the picture was worth a thousand words, but you know, a bunch of those words turned out not to be true. Uh, so now I've got uh, a couple options. Uh, one, and I wish that I had done this earlier, is that I could just exchange this for one that's the correct size. I easily could have ordered one that was more narrow, but based on the, the over, uh, you know, those overhang things on the size, I ordered this side, uh, this size. Um, I don't want to shift it over because then it shifts it off uh, from the window here and it kicks all the uh, cabinets on that side out. Um, so neither of those options is particularly appealing uh, just because, you know, deliveries and everything and, um, you know, not wanting to modify the kitchen. The third option, which I might go with, is that I could just build this myself. Um, I, you know, I could take the doors off, these front things off. And, and build a box like this, and uh, yeah, I'd have to shorten up the doors, I suppose, but uh, yeah, I, I could just modify it and I could build a new one. But it, it bugs me because this is supposed to be just an easy plug and play thing, things out of the box, up against the wall, screw them to the wall, and you're done. And now it's turned what was supposed to be really easy into kind of a major project, you know, b building a new one of those, mostly the doors. Doors are kind of the the pain because you know building the box you know that's not a huge deal but the the doors I mean they're they're kind of beveled into each other and I don't know there's three three options and none of them are awesome and it all comes down to the fact that I interpreted more information out of a sketch from the architect than was uh, reasonable to have interpreted out of it I'm kicking myself now but they're not damaged at least and uh, these three are all the same color in I seem like I got the right cupboards anyway, at least the ones that I asked for. That's it. Thanks for watching.